Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the B&E Bricks channel. Today I'm doing my review of the LEGO Star Wars Stranger Things Upside Down set. This is probably the closest thing to a Master Builder series set we'll see from an 18 plus show in, well, for a while at least. Um, and I'm mean, obviously this is the office set, but you know. Um, and this is very exciting. I'm personally not the biggest fan of Stranger Things, but I do think this set is really, really cool. I don't think it's retired yet, so if you want it, you can still get it, but I am looking to sell this. So if you really want this, let me know. Um, but... Without further ado, I mean, let's get into the review. Starting off, we've got the display plaque over here with four minifigures on it. So, this, well, this has more four minifigure slots, but I just had it the way it was in the box. So we've got, I forgot his name, but he's funny looking. And uh, we've got this guy who's probably the best minifigure in the set, honest, or second best. Um, we've got Mike, I think that's his name, and Eleven. I know, I know those two. Um, so looking at the first one, you can see this is a great head mold with the hair and the hat, right? Oh, there we go connected it's a great thing if you want to make any kind of like little kid or like baseball fan mold it's a very good one um obviously these are based off of their season one appearances i know that they look different in the later seasons um so looking at him he's got a compass he's got a really nice shirt with some sort of reference on it and sorry but he's got the new leg mold the short leg mold that has the movable legs unlike the older ones we've seen that can't move back printing nothing too special but it is very very good looking so Obviously, these are meant to just be like normal people, so it shouldn't be too, too interesting. But moving on to the next minifigure, we've got him, who I forgot the name of. Again, let's see if I can get his hat. He's got a bandana on, like, some sort of smooth, like, black-colored hair. Um, nice face print, decent. This guy probably has the best face print of the entire thing. Um, the others are just kind of bland, honestly. Uh, it's brown legs, um, nice jacket. And same thing, basically. He comes with a slingshot, and I think that's supposed to be a flashlight, but I can't really tell. Um, and then, I mean, yeah, that, that's about it. So these minifigures, they're not too complicated, but they are all very nice. So looking over here at Mike, you can see he's got nice hair pieces, the Harry Potter hair pieces. His face print is really bland, probably the blandest of all of them. And they're all wearing a very similar thing, just some sort of jacket with, like, a shirt underneath. Um, green legs. I'm not going to show his back because, obviously, it's just going to be the same thing. And then Eleven, who has basically the same thing again, except I really don't like her. I, 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 I don't like her hair. I think it looks really awkward. I believe that's a wig that she wears in season one. I've only ever watched the first few episodes, but I, I think it just, it looks weird either way. That's the problem. It, it just, it looks like she's wearing a costume, which is what it's supposed to be. But then if you take it off, it looks just awkward. So yeah, and she has a waffle because she likes waffles. Those are the display plaque minifigures. Now onto the other four, which are meant to be on the actual set. So we've got Will Byers' mom. I forgot her name, but she's probably my third favorite minifigure in the set after uh, that kid. Um, nothing too special about her printing. I just really like her hair piece. I think it's awesome. I think it might be Hermione Granger hair piece, but if it is, whatever. If it's not, also whatever. I just think it's cool. She's got a thing with a Dungeons & Dragons character on there, or whatever it's called in... Um, in, in Stranger Things, I think those have Dungeons and Dragons things. Um, she's another flashlight, and she's like in a panic because she's missing Will, who we have over here, who was in the Upside Down, and you can actually you can stick minifigures under there, which is really cool. Um, but Will has a really lame minifigure, but like it looks like him. It's he's probably the best minifigure in this set, or the second best um, with his face print. I think it looks very good. But yeah, I mean it's it's, it's pretty much just what you would expect. It's just not that detailed. Like, like, the detail on it is great. It's just, like, the characters themselves. Like, there's no leg printing. There's no reason to have leg printing. Um, but moving on to this guy. I can't remember his name. The guy who also plays the uh, the red... The, the Captain uh, Communist or whatever from... The Red Guardian from Black Widow. Um, the, this guy's here. He just looks like a sheriff. I mean, there's not too much going on with him. And then the Demogorgon. So this is probably the best minifigure in this set. Um, it's got the Wolverine claws that which are just nice, look nice on this. I've never been a big fan of how they did the Wolverine claws, although I understand why they did it because they're not gonna make a new hand mold. Like that's just lame. Um, but yeah, the head mold is awesome with the little like flower-ish head. Uh, the backgrounding is nice. It looks sort of like an alien, like from the Aliens movies. And then the legs, I love this new head mold or leg mold. I don't know if we've seen this anywhere else, but this new leg mold is just awesome. Like if you look at that detail, it just looks great. Like, unironically, it is just amazing. Um, so, that is all of the minifigures in the set. I'll bring these guys back up here. Um, I do want to say, before I actually get into the next category, you can see down here, some of these branches actually fell off. I believe they came from this piece, but or this tree, but I don't know. So, um, I'm just going to leave them off for now, and just keep that in mind when I'm reading it. But overall, for the minifigures category, I'll move her back up here, and these guys back over here. 
I'm going to give it a 2 out of 2. I think that's amazing. And it's really all you need to do a lot of the scenes um, from the show. So, I mean, really the only other character that I think would be would have been nice to see is maybe Steve. But, like, then again, I haven't seen any of the later seasons, so I don't know how important he is. Um, but, yeah, whatever. Steve and then the sister. I forgot her name. Um, but, yeah, so overall 2 out of 2 for me. Now on to the design category. I knew, boy, this is going to be a long one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go top and then bottom, but I've taken the minifigures off of the thing because I need all of the room I can get. So go ahead and, well, not you, like myself. Well, go ahead and subscribe. Why not? It's not going to hurt you, and you get to see more awesome videos like this, mostly Star Wars. But if you say something and I have it, or if you say you want me to review, like, uh, the, the Trafalgar Square, I'll do it. Um, but starting off, I'm going to go with the lamest part of the set, if I can get it off of there. Uh-oh, it's going to pull up. No, oh, no, it didn't. Okay, let me put that rock back down, and then... We've got the Jeep, which is a pretty nice Jeep. This is the um, the Sheriff guy's cheap um, Jeep. It's pretty nice. I, I, I think that this is a reference to something with the pumpkin, but I don't know what. Uh, so obviously I lose out a lot on this set because I don't understand these references, but I do still think it's a very cool set. Um, the Jeep, I think, is actually very well designed, or maybe it's, it looks more like a, um, like a station wagon of some kind. Um, my favorite part of it, it it's a police chair, or car, so it's got that thing there. Um, but my favorite part about this set, or, or not about the set, about this Jeep has got to be this bit that sticks out just slightly more than the rest. Like if you look at this set, you can see it sticks up. I think it looks great. The ingot pieces as those front headlights look great. And I've got that on there as well, so that's great. I'm going to go ahead and move this to the side now. That's why I wanted to get that done first, so that I can move that to the side. So, okay, I can't get it to the side. Hold on. So now onto the actual house itself. So we're going to start on the outside with the trees you can see sort of go into the house with those little branches, which I think look very nice. The detailing on the tree is good. You can see how it kind of flattens it out, um, which is, as you can see at the bottom, it's so that you can flip it around. Like I could go ahead if I wanted to, and I will later, you'll see flip these upside down so that the upside down is at the top and the normal side is upside down, I think, maybe. Um, but yeah, so onto this, you can see the lawn is like a sort of barf green or sand green, like dark sand green, I don't know what it's called. Um, but it's very nice. I like the shaping of it. I think that it looks really interesting. It looks like it's like floating in the air as well, especially, which is really cool because of like that. Um, you've got some nice rocks. This one's obviously just there too, so that you can put the police car there. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a lot going on here. Um, or there's not a lot going on here, but there's some, a lot of nice detailing, like the rocks there show a path, whatever. Um, over here, I think there's, yeah, there's a poster for Barb who's missing. I, I remember, I've seen that episode. Um, and yeah, but so moving on to this patio area, so you can see a chair there, which I did not put together too well, apparently, except I'm not going to worry, well, too late, I already did it, and it didn't work, but I got the chair there with the table, which is pretty nice, it looks like a nice place you could stick a minifigure there to sit, um, over here you've got a path, and this is some sort of mat that's there, um, a little pot, a little bench there, a little table, and a little swinging seat, which is really nice, so it's just really nice detailing on there, I like the flatness there. I like how this, uh, these pillars there are there. It looks really like a suburban house, which is kind of nice. I mean, it should look like a suburban house, right? Um, but you can see on the inside of the windows, they've got, I think those are stickers or maybe, no, those are printed. Um, little windows that are supposed to be covered in newspaper, which I actually think looks really, really good. It looks just like it did in the show. There's the hole in the wall from when the Demogorgon attack. Oh, spoilers for the show if you haven't already seen it. I really like how they use the, um, the, the sideways flat, um, what are those called? Slab pieces to show like the slats that you see on some some houses. So I think that that looks really really nice as well. That's probably one of my favorite details on the set. And yeah, that that's I mean that's really it for the patio. So moving on up to the roof, you can see it's a really really well designed roof. I love the way that it looks. Um, I like how it has like the two whatever those things are rain collectors or something and a chimney here. Um, I think that that all looks really nice and it's got even a little bit of a gutter. Well, there's not really a hole there, but the way it's made. It makes it look like there's a gutter there, which I think is really, really nice looking. On the side over there, again, you can see some more of the slats. And over here, the same thing. Same thing. Uh, a little bit more detailing there with the brick. Or maybe that's supposed to be like the back wall or something. I don't know how this house works. But yeah, so that about does it for the outside of the top. So now I'm going to go ahead and flip it around and take off the roof. And you guys can see the inside. Okay, after flipping this around, I think I may have figured out where these pieces came from. I think it's likely from there. Um... But I don't really know, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave them off for now until I actually have a chance to fix it. But looking at the top bits, you can see some details there. We've got the hat, which is sort of like to reference the Dungeons & Dragons bit. You've got a camera there. I think that's a reference to the show, but I'm not sure what it is. You've got a bed here that's not even made, barely. 
um, and the lamp there. I think that that's meant to be Will's room because it's got the Jaws poster. What does that say? Does it not say Jaws? It says Shark. That's funny. Because uh, it's got the Shark poster in there and the lamp and the beatbox. So I think that that's meant to be Will's room. It's really interesting. It's got some stickers and stuff on the walls. Nice details. I believe that's where the hole in the wall is because it's meant to look like it from the outside, not from the inside. Um, you've got the lights in there from when she was making the message, whatever Will's mom was making the message so that Will could communicate through the lights when he was in the upside down. You've got the phone that breaks like a million times. Um, you've got a really nice table design in there. Actually, I really, really like that design with the poster for Will missing there. Their really tacky couch along with a carpet underneath the table, which looks pretty nice. Uh, I think that's a bear trap on the floor, but I don't know. Um, I haven't gone that far in the show, so I don't understand. There's a hatchet there. Maybe she's trying to attack something. Some shelving right next to the door, which I think looks really nice. And then in here, this is just a little like sitting area, which is pretty nice. There's not too much going on in there, honestly, but it's really interesting looking. Um, up here, you can see some more Easter eggs. I think those are pizza boxes or maybe Dungeons and Dragons games or something. Um, but I, I, I mean, obviously, I haven't seen the show, so I don't know too much about it, but I think it's all very interesting. Oh, and there's a light brick right here, so it's like you can have it doing like the uh whatever I don't, I don't i don't know how to do that but it's interesting um but i mean yeah that's about it for the interior you can see these walls there and i mean yeah it, it's just pretty much just a connection to the front so uh, without further ado let's go ahead and we have the upside down on top to look at so looking at the roof you can see it's a dark blue color versus the normal color which is really interesting the trees are pretty much mirrored they're just more decayed and covered in like the blue purpley stuff that's all over the upside down I actually prefer the way this side looks to the other side, although I think we're meant to, so yeah, there's that. Um, same newspaper pieces in the windows, same slats, just in a different color, so there are holes everywhere as well. No hole over here on this one, though. Um, I believe that it's actually like an exact mirror, so like this side would be Will's room, but there's no hole there. Or is there a hole there? I think there's a hole there. Um, but yes, yeah, so you can see it's an exact flip, so like this side, this this chair, which was on the other side when that was flipped over is now over here. So that's actually kind of interesting. Uh, this other chair is here, the table, everything is basically the same, just it's all like warped. You've got the mat, which is tilted as well. Um, all the detailing on the ground is really nice. There's no rocks there because there's no car in this one. Um, same thing with the gutter, same techniques, same number there, same, there, there are vines going up it now and vines coming down it there, goo or something. Um, but yeah, there's not too much going on there. A chimney again, although this one was sticking up a little bit and shouldn't have been there. But, I mean, yeah, it's very detailed with the vines on the roof and everything. I love it. If you go over here, they don't have the barb. Oh, wait, it would be on the other side. They do have the barb poster. I was just about to say, I thought they did. Um, over here, instead of there being just brick, it's, like, breaking. You can see it over there. Um, on this side, same thing with the slats as well. It's like we saw on the other side, the same thing with the brick breaking. Um, but so you can see all the decay, and I think it looks really, really good. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and flip it around so you can see the inside. On to the inside of the upside down house, so you can see same thing with the door and everything is all flipped. Uh, even the lights part, which is interesting, except there are no lights there. Um, beatbox, same thing basically. Um, although again, it's upside down, so you can see. And there is a beatbox. There is the beatbox. There is the bed, also unmade. Although I think I actually did that slightly differently, which is a little bit annoying to me, but whatever. Um, table and stuff, all different, covered in goo and just grime and everything the lights are there but a lot of the lights aren't working um same thing with the chair but everything's just dark and gloomy and gray and gross um dungeons and dragons thing there i think that's supposed to be a demogorgon reference uh in here there there's no hat or anything it's all just destroyed it's it's just a really interesting thing honestly there's not too much more to talk about i mean it's just basically mirrored no light brick there but i mean other than that it's basically just a perfect mirror in different colors so, I mean, yeah, that's about it for the design. Uh, overall, I'm going to give it a 2 out of 2. I think it's perfect. There's not too much more for me to say about it. I just think it's perfect. Obviously, if I'd watched the show, I might have more to say about it. But, like, still, I just I think it's amazing. On to playability. So, obviously, we have the Jeep. Then on the front, there's, like, you can play with minifigures. Um, the doors open. The lights flicker. Um, you can see here that I, I showed you earlier, but the lights do that. Um, so you can do pretty much whatever you want with the lights. You can just, there's a lot of being able to recreate things versus being able to like, like actually play with it. It's not a play set. It's a, it's a set where you use the characters to do things. So, I mean, that's got that for going for it. So for playability, I'm going to give it a one out of two. I, I think it could have had more playability, but it had all the characters and stuff. So I think that it gets, it's pretty close to a two out of two. 
Uh, I just feel like if I'd watched the show, there would have been more stuff I would have wanted to see and like stuff I would have wanted to be able to do. Like maybe being able to break the wall or something. Although I do understand this is quite a small build and you can't expect too much from it. But I mean, yeah, I'm just 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 to be fair, right? Um, but yeah, playability is going to be a one out of two. Now onto the value category with a total score right now of five out of six, which is pretty dang good. So this set retailed for two hundred dollars, and for retail, that's great. This is an amazing set for two hundred dollars. I would probably have put the set at two hundred fifty dollars if I were Lego, but they did not, and so I'm very happy about that. If it were a Star Wars set, it would have been like three hundred dollars. Uh, everyone knows that, but. Now to get it, you're going to have to pay like $300. So it's definitely, um, I was mistaken when I said it hadn't retired. It has retired. Um, it's definitely pricey. If you really like Stranger Things, I would probably recommend it. Like, but you have to really like it. Because um, it's that's a hefty price tag when you could be getting like the UCS gunship or the Daily Bugle or something. Um, but so this is definitely worth the $200. I just don't know about it. more than that. Um... So I don't know about three hundred dollars, but just if you want this set, I would say get it um, for value for myself. I'm gonna give it a one out of two. I just don't think it's an amazing value for retail. It's a two out of two. For now, it's kind of a one out of two. But if you want it, you should still get it. Don't don't be afraid because of the price. And now onto my opinion. So my opinion of this set is that it is a two out of two. It's a perfect set. Honestly, it, it is in my opinion. I just think it's amazing. So I mean that's about it. This video's already been long enough. So that's going to make the total an 8 out of 10, which is pretty dang good. So thank you guys for watching. It's an 8 out of 10 set. Um, go check out my haul video that I posted yesterday. It's a pretty good video, and it's, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, and, yeah, let me know what sets you want to see me review next. And thank you guys for watching. See ya.